New, que new question, the member from Ottawa Centre. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health uh, Promotion. It's, Mr. Speaker, we all know that the promotion of health and wellness of Ontarians is a good investment. That is why the Ministry of Health Promotion was created in 2005 to focus government efforts by providing effective programs to address chronic disease and obesity. But we know, Mr. Speaker, that there is no silver bullet for these problems. Instead, we must address the multiple preventable risk factors that affect the health of Ontarians, such as poor nutrition, a lack of physical activity, and substance abuse. In the past, uh, Minister, your ministry has had several preventative programs funding both provincial and local initiatives which addressed each of these health risk factors. But I'm sure you will agree, Minister, our focus should be more than just addressing these conditions and behaviors on an individual level. So, Minister, uh, through Mr. Speaker, what is the government doing to support local organizations to do better, promote health within their own communities? Mr. Speaker, I thank the member from Ottawa Centre for his question. I know that that member, Mr. Speaker, is a person who works diligently uh, to advance the interests of community. And I concur with his point that there are many preventable factors that affect our health. A person who eats well uh, but drinks excessively is not maximizing their health. A person who is physically active but takes up smoking is not maximizing their health. Each of these risk factors, Mr. Speaker, should not be addressed in silos as we recognize that they are interconnected. To this end, Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to talk about the $16 million that our government is investing annually through the New Healthy Communities Fund. This new fund is helping local partners promote physical activity, healthy eating, injury prevention, tobacco control, and mental health promotion. It will help organizations build and maintain important partnerships across risk factors, and it will increase the work they're doing to improve the health of Ontarians, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.